Welcome back to the showcase. We made our way to People's Hall, which is the brand new science building here on Dalton State's campus. And John, that's not the only new thing about this school. Eight figures went into the building of People's Hall. There was a lot of renovations going on. There's a lot of expansion going on as Dalton State is now welcomed to the Southern States Athletic Conference. Tucked in the Northwest Georgia mountains, Dalton State College is doing its part, adding to the region's economic engines and quality of life in the three state area it serves. If you ask Dalton State's president, Dr. John Schwen, his last six years have been an incredibly rewarding time to see all the growth as a campus and a college. Since I came in 2008, Dalton State really has grown a lot and we offer so many more things than we did back then. Uh, athletics obviously is a fantastic addition that really has made a big difference on campus. Uh, but we have opened housing uh, and having how students live on campus makes a difference as well. We have students uh, here in the afternoon and in the evening and at one time after lunch the place closed down and today there are activities from about 7 in the morning till 10 at night. So it's a very different place. That's a, a school now that feels like an inst a university or a college, it feels like an institution of higher ed, and uh, things are going really well. The number of degrees have increased over time. The college offers targeted bachelor's degrees, a full range of associate's degrees, and career certificate programs, coordinating a wide variety of public service activities to go with all of the hustle and bustle. The college's work is strengthened by partnerships between the college and local businesses and industries, governments, and schools. Dr. Schwinn understands his college's place. We, we are very well positioned for our geographic area. We're the only four-year institution in Northwest Georgia. We attract students from Chattanooga and surrounding counties. Um, we offer programs that our employers say they need and also what, some of what our students would like to have. But the most important is that the employers in our area are willing to hire our graduates. We uh, do place many students in uh, the Chattanooga area since we're so close. Um, and it's, it's a, I think it's a good relationship between uh, our businesses, our industries, and our location. In fulfilling its mission, Dalton State College seeks to prepare and inspire its students to be an active member within their professions and communities. As the college looks to its future and its place in a competitive global society, it seeks to build on its strengths as one of the most academically respected, student-oriented, and community-centered institutions of its kind. Making sure the degree pursuits on hand can accomplish those goals has been paramount and a big part of the college's curriculum expansion. We've added uh, about 15 new bachelor's degrees in the last uh, seven years. We've eliminated a number of um, two-year programs that were undersubscribed, like automotive and welding, that really don't fit in a four-year institution. And so what we have today is a good, round, academic program for our students and um, all the activities that go with it, from student research uh, to leadership development to um, programs that uh, really create an adult. Athletically, Dalton State gets to build its program from scratch, and the man in charge that works in concert with Dr. Schwinn on the academic side is Derek Waugh. Waugh has seen it from all sides as an athlete, a coach, and now running the Roadrunners program. It was a challenge. Uh, when I first started here, we, we had a, I had a six by six office, really did not have a facility. Uh, the facility that we're looking at now has been completely renovated. Um, probably the hardest thing is that our program was started at a time in Georgia where athletic funding was being reduced for schools. The, a big push was making school more, more affordable. So as you look around at a lot of our competition, a lot of the schools within the state, they have facilities that have been built by the state. Uh, their student fees are much higher than ours. So we came in during kind of a difficult climate there to build an athletic department. Thankfully, uh, the private support uh, we've had here has just been absolutely unprecedented and, and phenomenal and that is what has, has made us go really. It's, it's, a, um, it's a mentality in this town of, of entrepreneurial get after it, you know, beat the bushes type, type, uh, type town and we've tried, tried to translate that to the athletic department. And when you look at the teams that are playing in the Southern States Athletic Conference, you see that the Roadrunners are instantly competitive, not wasting any time to work their way toward the top of the ladder in the conference. Wa maintains that there is one aspect of the program that lends itself to the quick start. 
I would say the reason why we've been instantly competitive is that we've been blessed with great coaches who get it and again the private support so we're able to scholarship good kids we're able to bring them into a wonderful community where people want to live and give, give them a great education to the university system of georgia so when you combine all those different things it's led to a lot of good teams and and just an absolute blessing and sometimes it's a curse too because people expect you to be so good well this is our this is our second year of existence i mean our soccer team is not even in existence yet it starts next year and people are already telling him he needs to win the national championship in year one. So it's, it can get a little out of hand, but uh, that's part of my job is to temper expectations. But our, our coaches all hold themselves to a higher standard than anyone else would anyway. So that's where we're really blessed. So Dalton State is one of the new members of the Southern States, is growing at a steady pace in a lot of different directions. But President Schwen sees a lot more opportunities to see his campus, his degrees, and his programs grow over the next few years to continue to amplify his school's place in northwest Georgia and take full advantage of the makeup of the area. Over the next uh, few years, the, the first thing that I think is really important is for us to become an Hispanic-serving institution. Currently, we're 21.2% Hispanic, which really mirrors our community. And we need to be 25% and we'll be listed as a Hispanic-serving institution. That will give us lots of other opportunities to get federal grants and to, to have a lot more funding because we fall into that category. I look at uh, having an expanded uh, undergraduate program in, with lots of different majors in uh, the various areas from the, the sciences and the liberal arts. Uh, hopefully by within the next 10 years we will have um, uh, master's degrees, uh, business, education, social work are probably the three areas that we would first expect to have uh, a master's degree. And that really is dependent upon a lot on money and the, of course the Board of Regents has to approve it, that ever happening. And that's, that's down the road a little bit. So Nicole, you, Scott, and I always like to go see what the new guy's up to. That is your look at the first new guy this year on the showcase. And we'll have one more new guy, but we'll save that for a little bit later. A little later. All right, well that's gonna wrap things up for now, but don't go away. We're gonna tell you where we're headed for our next show, but first, the Players of the Week.